There's a reason why red cards are included in score sheets. Simply because, more often than not, they flip games upside down. So, in a way, they share the same importance of goals and sometimes teams would rather concede a goal rather than one of theirs getting his marching orders. Today, we'll be ranking players with the most red cards in football history. Spoiler alert, Sergio Ramos is not leading this list. Starting with the Chilean international, Gary Medel. Medel takes the number 10 spot on our list, and deservedly so. The defensive midfielder took the role of the destroyer a little too seriously. He was literally out there demolishing opponents. The Chilean Chilean international has established himself as one of the hardest defenders that few forwards would like to face. Unfortunately, his propensity to produce important stops and tackles has resulted in 18 marching orders over his career. Medell won a couple of Copper America trophies and maybe on his most viral moments out there was when he managed to get Lionel Messi sent off in a game against Argentina. Moving to number 9 on our list, Fernando Amorebieta. Only La Liga originals will remember that name quite well. The veteran centre-back spent most of his career at Atletico Bilbao. He also had a short stint in the Premier League, plying his trade at Fulham. Amora Bieta is one of the fiercest defenders the game has ever seen. However, that fierceness has cost him 19 red cards throughout his career. The eighth place on our list is occupied by a name many of you won't recognize, the Italian Matteo Contini. The former Italian defender has represented numerous clubs in Italy, including Napoli, Parma, and Real Zaragoza in Spain. Contini was one of the most highly regarded players of all time, yet he struggled to escape the sanctions on the field. He managed to pile up 20 red cards during his illustrious career. You'll definitely realize the next player on our list, the Brazilian pitbull Felipe Melo. The midfielder is all about that MMA fighter's vibe. His playing style, his speeches as a captain, and his interceptions in the game all mimic a soldier in the field of war rather than the stereotypical flair embedded in the Brazilian blood. Felipe Melo has always been a leader, but one that more often than that left his teammates alone on the pitch as he's received a total of 20 red cards during his playing time. Coming at number six, Six is the best defender in Mexican football history, El Kaiser, Rafael Marquez. Marquez is not only considered as a Mexican legend, but also one of the best centre-backs to wear the colours of the Catalan giant FC Barcelona. The legendary defender was well known for his take-no-prisoners approach and his unique persona. Fun fact, Yaya Torre once said that he considered Marquez as 10 times the defender Gerard Piquet is. And don't forget Yaya shared the dressing room with both players. So that's a huge insight from him. Anyway, back to our topic. The Mexican was a little reckless though, as he managed to receive 21 red cards in all competitions. At number 5, we have Paulo Montero. Montero is currently a football coach. The former player started his professional career with Deportivo Maldonado in 1989 and has since played for various clubs, including Juventus FC and UC Sampdoria. Additionally, he competed for Uruguay in the FIFA World Cup of 1998. After retirement, he turned into coaching and has led various clubs in the Uruguayan Primera Division including Montevideo Wanderers and Club Nacional de Football. He has also served as Uruguay's national team's assistant manager, registering 21 red cards. Paulo Montero has got the most red cards in the whole of Serie A history. Montero plied his trade with Juventus, where he was always willing to cross the border in order to win. With 22 red cards to his name, Alexis Delgado deservedly owns the fourth place on our list. I know you've probably never heard that name, but long story short, kindly watch what he did to Mario Mandzukic in a game against Atletico. Slap a black and white strip t-shirt on the referee and you won't even recognize this as a game of football anymore. Delgado is actually known for his violence and hot temper on the pitch, so you might find more dirt if you dig deeper. Moving on to the top three on our list and starting with Cyril Rule. Rule spent his whole playing career in France, playing for Marseille, Bastia, Lens, Bordeaux and Nice. Before Ramos overtook him, the hard-charging midfielder had the most red cards in the top five leagues of Europe, which mounted up to 27 red cards. In addition to his astounding number of red cards, he set a record in League One with 187 yellow cards. I know you've been waiting for this, but definitely not on the number two spot. Yes, ladies and gents, the notorious Sergio Ramos takes the number two on our list. There's actually one more player with more red cards than Sergio. I mean, from where do we start? 
huh? Ramos has done it all, from dislocating Salah's shoulder to nearly breaking Messi's legs in half. I mean, it actually baffles us that Messi endured almost 15 years of that treatment and still plays football to this day. The Spanish legend is definitely one of the greatest defenders of all time. However, he's seen more red cards than trophies. With 29 red cards and counting, Ramos will have a hard time compensating that difference as he's already seven titles short. Finally, the rightful king to the throne. With an outstanding 46 red cards throughout his career, the Colombian beast Gerardo Bedoya. Bedoya was just different. You know one time in the Bogota derby between Independiente Santa Fe and Millonarios in 2012, he was sent off for an elbow and subsequent kick to the head aimed at Millonarios player Johnny Ramirez. What's even more interesting about all this is that Bedoya is in fact not a defender. The Colombian was actually a central midfielder. Following his retirement, Bedoya went into coaching. Interestingly enough, he was sent off just 21 minutes into his senior coaching debut in March 2016. I told you, this guy is just different. So guys, that wraps our list of monsters for today. Did you enjoy that video? Let us know in the comments which players shocked you the most. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to leave a like and to subscribe to see much more of Goal Vision on your feed. See you in the next one.